welcome to the latest walking stick build. A uh, client had requested uh, their uncle's birthday was coming up and they wanted a dog, uh, sort of a golden Labrador carving on top. So this one was a little bit challenging for me, but I think it turned out great. Did uh, glass eyes, which is a first for me, but I think it really makes the, the carving pop out. We have a piece of a Roko, which is uh, African teak as a transition piece between the carving and the oak staff. I'll taper down to very small. I think this is a seven eighths um, rubber foot at the base. They also requested having a crystal placed in. So we put it just in between the handle and, uh, and the carving up top, a little paracord wrap. As you see, we tapered it down real small, uh, less than an inch here in its smallest diameter, gives a nice spot for the hand. But I think this one came out great. I'll take you through the uh, step-by-steps of how we carve this one. A uh, little bit challenging, a little bit of knife work. Uh, carving knives, the a um, uh, little bit by hand to shape it all out and then transitioned over to the Dremel or the rotary tool with uh, some cuts all bits and some HSS bits and carve that out. Let me know what you think. I think it turned out great. Hopefully they, uh, they like the results and this one will be shipping off soon. So stay tuned to the build. Leave your comments below. Um, if you have any uh, comments, like I said, uh, let me know. Let me know what you think of this. This one's a little more realistic, but I think it turned out all right. Um, again, if you want to hit that like and subscribe button, I really appreciate it below. But take a look at the vid, see how it was all built. Thanks a lot.
So we're nearing the end. We have a nice little, uh, little carving of a dog. It uh, tried to get close to uh, a lab, a golden lab. That's why we went with the lighter wood. Did a little transition piece here of Iroko, which is, uh, I think, African teak. And then come down to an oak uh, stick. You see here we've tapered it where the handle's going to be. We're going to do a power cord wrap at the end of that. Have the initials of uh, the client. Um, they wanted their initials on it, so put it. it's going to be just below the handle. Of course, we have our threaded rod in here, all epoxied together for strength. And it goes, tapers down to have a small, I think it's a um, 7 eighths uh, rubber foot on that one. All sanded down. There's one more step that we got to do. There's going to be a small crystal uh, put in the front. The client has requested that. But what I want to do is put a finish on it all. Just to see what the colors come out to before I choose which crystal. Because I have several, they're all different colors. So I want to see uh, which one's going to fit best. So that's the next step now. What we're going to do is put on a little coat of teak oil, which is going to give a nice protective finish. Uh, darken everything up. This uh, Iroko is going to be a nice dark band, a good transition between the oak and the, uh, the carving up here. This one challenged me a bit, but I really like how it came out. So. Let's see what the uh, the finish does with it, and we'll be right back. I'll get everything assembled, and we'll put that color on. So once again, just going to put a little teak oil on an old cotton cloth, a little t-shirt we have around. Let's start off here with the carving. Oh, beautiful coloring. Look at that grain coming out. I think that color is going to work out perfect for what we want. Nice. I'm going to have to put uh, keep putting some on. I see the uh, the wood's drying out right away, so it's soaking it up. But let's see what the Oroco does. Exactly what we thought. Nice transition. Look at that. And then of course the oak. Nice medium brown color. And that grain's really going to pop. That's a good combination. So let me keep finishing this. Keep putting more and more oil on until the wood stops soaking it in. And I'll show you what it is at the end here. Stay tuned. Still a few more steps to go. All right, so we've got it passed through the loop. Got to keep the tension pretty tight. So we passed through the loop on top. Now what we have to do is pull down. Until that locks in up top. Now you can let go. You've made yourself a nice power cord wrap wrapped around. You see here how the uh, diameter, because we we slim down this section here, see how the pattern changes when you have different diameters. Here, the diameter was pretty much even, but then the pattern changes as you go. I always find that neat. So what we have to do now is uh, we're just going to cut this off 
cut this off, burn the ends, it's going to be pretty good. So you see how that uh, black power cord with the white goes well with the black crystal, just underneath that uh, nice little dog's head. Our little transition piece, this one's turn, turned out really well. I'm liking how this one looks.